I'm still outside of Portland, Oregon for the new HRV Media Drive. I will be driving it today at the time of this recording. But we have some other big Honda news coming out. Their collaboration with Sony is getting more details. Let's jump in. <laughs> So if you didn't know, back in early March, Honda and Sony have agreed to work together to produce EVs. But we got more news on that today, June 16th. Let's get into it. So Sony and Honda announced today that they have signed a joint venture agreement to establish a new company to engage in the sale of high value added electric vehicles. I'll let you guys be the ones to interpret what high value added EVs means. And they want to provide services for mobility. So if you want that 360 camera, you might have to pay a monthly fee for it. If you want that radar cruise control autonomous driving, you might have to pay a monthly fee for it. That's what's going on in my head. The new company aims to bring together Honda's cutting edge environment and safety technologies, mobility development capabilities, and vehicle body manufacturing technology, and after sales service management experience. So what does after sales service management experience mean? Does that mean these vehicles will be serviced by Honda dealers? That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. But we don't know how these vehicles will be sold. Or will they be sold on Honda lots or are they going to be order only and arrive at your doorstep like Tesla, for example? And if that's the case, if they are straight from manufacturer to customer, I don't think Honda dealers will be that keen to servicing these cars that don't come from them. But that's all speculation at this point. So let's keep reading. Sony's expertise in the development and application of imaging, sensing, telecommunication, network and entertainment technologies, PlayStation, right? To realize a new generation of mobility and services for mobility that are closely aligned with users and the environment and continue to evolve going forward. So, all right, so this new company has been established in 2022. Begin of sales of EVs and provision of services for mobility in 2025. Guys, hey, it's not that far away. 2022 is halfway over, so two and a half years from now, it's 2025, and we'll be seeing Sony EVs built by Honda. Well, the 50-50, but that's how I see it. Sony design and Sony technology in this vehicle that will be manufactured by Honda. So it's called Sony Honda Mobility Inc. They didn't give it a crazy name. They're just like, hey, it's this is what it is. It's a Sony and Honda vehicle. Does that mean that the brand will be Sony Honda? Will they have a, a unique emblem? I'm sure there will be a unique emblem to it. I just don't know what. Of course, it's located in Tokyo, Japan, capital 10 billion yen. I'll put what that is in US dollars. So 50-50 ownership between Sony and Honda. But if we head over to Automotive News, Hans Greimel, who lives in Japan and writes for Automotive News, has a little bit more background details for us. Yasuhide Mizuno, currently a senior managing officer at Honda, will be chairman and CEO of the new company. Mizuno was formerly Honda's chief of officer for automobile operations before being tasked to head Honda Sony joint venture prep office, a change that took effect on June 1st. Izumi Kawanishi, a Sony executive vice president, will be its president and COO. So I'm, a guess, so I'm guessing Uzumi Kawanishi, when we start to see like bigger press releases from this joint venture, I'm, I'm gonna go out and say we might see more Uzumi as he is the president, kind of taking that Akio Toyota role for this sort of situation. The new company is expected to sell its vehicles in the US, Japan, and Europe. Honda CEO Toshihiro Mibe has said the initial enterprise is expected to be very small, but that is an important step in trying out new business models for an industry under siege by change. So yeah, new business models, meaning to completely joining up with either competitors like General Motors or someone else that can bring so much to the table that they aren't able to do themselves like Sony with all their technology. When I hear new business model for a car company, is that direct sales to the customer? That's the big question mark for me anyways. Now Hans Greimel continues to give us some more background information what Honda is doing with EVs. So Honda, said in April it will invest $37 billion over the next 10 years in electrification as it rolls out 30 fully electric vehicles globally and builds production capacity for 2 million EVs by 2030. In this strategy, Honda said it will shift its business away from non-recurring hardware sales toward recurring sales of services that combine hardware and software. You have to because in, the in theory, if you make a, a very reliable battery pack, 
that doesn't degrade terribly over time or blow up. Electric vehicles don't need the servicing as gas cars. They also don't, in theory, break down as much because there's less things to break, right? So they won't be able to sell as many new cars in the future. Instead, they need to make money elsewhere, and that is through recurring services. Like, to me, it makes sense, especially with autonomous driving. Like, if you want really good autonomous driving, you're gonna have to pay a fee for it, and that's gonna help generate income so these manufacturers can pour mon more money into their autonomous driving uh, research and development to make it better. Like, I get it. I mean, I think the average customer would be okay paying a little bit a month for autonomous driving than I think Tesla you have to pay up front. I could be wrong. Like, you pay up front thousands and thousands of dollars, and then they can revoke that autonomous driving privilege from you. So, yeah, don't want to get into that too much right now. Honda is going to have its own e-architecture platform for larger vehicles coming in 2025 or 2026. Hans is saying 2026, but I've heard 2025. So again, that's a ways off. It could be late 2025 or early 20. Who knows? About three to four years from now, we'll have large vehicles on Honda's own platform. Now, will this Sony vehicle be built on this e-architecture? I think there's a good chance. And lastly, Honda wants to sell 800,000 fully battery electric EVs in North America by 2030. So they're selling 2 million worldwide. Nearly half of that will be here in North America. Would you be interested in a Sony EV built by Honda? That's how I see it. I know it's, it's more intricate than that and I'm making it sound pretty basic, but I'm a pretty basic understanding person. So Sony EV technology design built by Honda. Would you be interested in it? I actually would be. I really want to see what Sony can bring to the table. We know Honda can make great cars. So we know this thing is going to be built well. And they make good EVs too, even though we really don't have any of their EVs in America, not counting the clarity that was discontinued. But what's coming from Honda in the near term is going to be um, the Prologue, which will be uh, a joint with General Motors. Uh, we'll also have the Acura version of the Cadillac Lyric. So those will be out in 2024, potentially the Sony vehicles in 2025. Uh, in 2026, we could be getting um, more vehicles on this large platform, this e-architecture from Honda. But I'm getting into there. I'm really excited. There's just not that much information. I want more information about this. I want the details. Give me the deet, Sony and Honda. But hey, a little trickling here and there is better than nothing. So I'm going to end there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for my HRV uh, driving impressions later this month. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't hit the like button, please do that and have a wonderful day. Peace out.